Right, equations of tangents and normals. We're going to be using this equation a lot, so make sure that you're familiar with it and remember it from coordinate geometry. So, we need to be able to work out m, which is the gradient. And we also need a coordinate. Okay, and then we'll be able to use our y minus y1 m x minus x1 formula. So, let's have a look at an example. Find the equation of the tangent to this curve where x equals 1. So if we want to find out m, we find dy by dx. So differentiate y and you get 2x. Now when x is 1, m will be 2. And also y would be minus 1. So now we have all the information with, that we need to put into our equation. So we substitute in those coordinates and the gradient value and then tidy things up. Right, this one we're going to find the equation of the normal. Remember that the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent to the curve. So, if we differentiate y we'll get 6x minus 2. When x equals 2 that gives us the gradient m uh, would be minus 1 over 6x minus 2 because we're doing the normal it's going to be the negative reciprocal of what it usually would be so instead of being 6x minus 2 it's minus 1 over 6x minus 2 then we substitute in the 2 for x and we get minus a tenth work out what the y coordinate would be which is 13 and substitute it into our equation Now with these fractional ones it's a good idea to um, multiply out that fraction so you're not dealing with difficult numbers. Generally speaking it's good form to try and keep things as integers where possible. And then we would write that as an equation in that form equal to zero. Okay, last one. Um, find the equation of the tangent to the graph which is parallel to the x-axis. So we're not given a point at which to find the tangent, but we know that the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. Now just picture that in your head. If it's parallel to the x-axis, that means that it's horizontal and has a, a gradient of zero. So dy by dx, if we differentiate y, we get 2x minus 4. It being parallel to the x-axis means that that has to equal zero. So we know that this occurs when x equals 2. We find out the y coordinate when x equals 2 is minus 2. Therefore, the equation of the tangent will be y equals minus 2 because it's a horizontal line through the coordinate y equals minus 2. And if you tried to put it into your y minus y1 mx minus x1 equation, this is what it would look like.